I think pretty much everyone wants to get a Diamond White Toe before True Racks are released for them, but it seems to be very common that a lot of people don't know exactly where to hunt them, and I get asked all the time where the best areas for Whitetail hunting are. So I want to do a very basic rundown of like what Whitetail do throughout the daylight hours. I don't hunt them at night, so I don't know exactly uh, where to hunt them at night, but I really wouldn't recommend that anyway. But after that, we're going to get into uh, a little more specific areas where I tend to find Whitetail, but... They are very patternable during daylight hours because their basic schedule looks like this. From 5 a.m. to 9 a.m., they are feeding. So you can find them in fields. You can find them usually like kind of near water's edge. Uh, sometimes they end up a lot more in brush or in reeds, but pretty much feeding 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. And these numbers can be a little different, like sometimes 5 to 9.30, 5.30 to 9.30, stuff like that. But from 9 to 12, usually they are resting. And that's the time I don't really recommend hunting them. Because most rest zones seem to be strategically placed in cover. Uh, you know, that's realistic. Usually it's in the trees, and it's just a lot more difficult to actually spot them as you're running around. If you stumble upon them, it's easy to check all your tracks and spot them as they run away. But it's just a lot more difficult to happen to do that. Whereas when they're feeding or drinking, you got them in the wide open. Now, the reason I always recommend hunting them after 1300 in game time is because usually from 12 or 1230 to about 330, they are drinking. That is the easiest time to find white-tailed deer when they're drinking because all you have to do is hunt lakes, hunt like all this open area where you can see really far and usually see them well before they see you. You get to see like what's in the herd, is there any level threes, any rares, all that good stuff. So generally that time frame is my favorite to hunt them. Because they're drinking, because they're very visible, that is when I recommend hunting them. And then after that, they usually go and feed again from like 3.30 to, I don't know, 5.30 or maybe it's even later than that. Um, either way, pretty much till dark, they are actually feeding. So that is their basic schedule. That's pretty much predictable day after day. That is what they're going to do. Now, they have specific zones. They can be in different areas. But that is pretty much what you're going to see every day. So for this video, we are going to focus on the time around 1300 or beyond. And just to clarify, most whitetail drinking zones start at either 12 or 12.30 p.m. So the reason I recommend starting at 1300-ish is because that way any that are late arriving to their zone, maybe they got to travel a good distance, are already there and you haven't run by their zone before they actually get there. Because the first zone we're going to talk about is usually within about 500 meters of the outpost right on the kind of i call it a river system they are all lakes um, but the river looking lakes here in runaki now they're not always exactly here these zones vary from server to server and you can't be exactly sure where they are and sometimes this particular herd won't be there but usually you're going to get some of these herds through the runaki run so Right outside the outpost, you can start looking for whitetail right away. And really what I recommend is just running all the way north along this and just looking in the distance. But if you want specific areas to make place tents or something, we'll try to get over some of those. So first spot is pretty much right outside the outpost here. So the second spot that I would start at least trying to pay attention for another herd of whitetail deer to be somewhere on the water is a couple hundred meters south of this little finger that kind of breaks off to the west and then ends up north of that lake over there, which is another spot that we are going to talk about. But usually this one's pretty consistent across servers. I tend to find a herd here almost every time as long as I'm actually paying attention. And of course, in that time frame, it's a pretty reliable one. So I definitely be paying attention. Uh, checking some areas a little bit away from the water. Sometimes they'll do that. Uh, they'll drink even as much as like 100 meters off the water. So that is the second spot that I almost always tend to run into a herd of whitetail. This next spot's actually really easy to remember because it's right on the walkway. There's like a walkway that crosses the water right up here. And it's actually like pretty much in sight from where the last word was on this particular server. I could actually see them as I was tracking a few of the deer that I shot from the last herd. But right on the walkway, usually you get a herd here. And this is where I got my 996. That's my biggest whitetail ever. So it has done well for me in the past. That's not the only diamond whitetail I've shot from a herd that uses this particular zone. But that's a really good one. Right on the walkway, you can see them really well because they're usually like right out in the middle there. Uh, this one's not one that tends to vary too much, but my... 996 that I just talked about it was in the brush to my left uh, as I'm moving up here So just be aware they aren't always in exactly the same spot So this is one that I didn't actually realize but as I was just moving by 
Another herd of whitetail, it was definitely a separate herd, actually kind of just appeared across the water and was running back towards where I shot the first one. So somewhere in that brush area, there must be another herd that tends to use another drink zone. So that was one I was unaware of. I don't think they are super common. I'm guessing maybe they're usually a little further north. I'm not entirely sure exactly where they came from, but that's another one to look out for. Anywhere in that area of the walkway, there might be two herds, so keep your eyes open. So I mentioned this lake earlier, and it's actually been another spot that has produced diamond whitetail in the recent past. Vector shot one just on his live stream like last week. So if you believe in that, I don't know if that's true, but if specific areas do tend to spawn larger animals more often, this might be a spot worth checking out. But this one's actually really easy because they almost always are drinking on the east side of the lake. So if you circle around to the west side, there's a big mountain there. You can climb up there, you can scout, make sure you get to see every deer that's in the herd. But yeah, this is a, a pretty common one as well. Again, all during that time frame. So if you are not the host, it can be difficult to check all of these spots. But maybe if the host leaves and you end up with kind of access to changing the time and all that, I would try to always check these particular spots on every server you are capable of doing so. Because as I said, they're drinking, they're in the open. This is the easiest time frame to find whitetail. But we're going to move on to a couple of feed zones. Um, I don't always hit these. If I get a server that's really early in the morning or late at night, I try to. But I haven't had as much luck with these. So the first one is in Balmont. And this is after 3.30 in game time. So like, I don't know, 4 o'clock in the afternoon in game time, you're probably good to try the spot out. And it's the old starting outpost. Because I think the Balmont Railroad is the starting one now. But it's the old starting one, so it's just northwest of the Balmont Railroad a little bit. And this one, they tend to be in a lot of different areas. Quite often I get them in all of the thick reeds just to the north of here. But this particular one was actually kind of facing the Balmont Railroad outpost uh, back in that direction. So that one's in the open. I was able to see them really easily. But this is one I find pretty common as well. As long as you're here later in the afternoon, they do tend to be feeding somewhere in this general area. I've never actually had anything very good here. It doesn't mean there can't ever be, but um, yeah, another spot worth checking out if you get a server that's maybe not ideal time for the drink zones. So the nice thing with the feed zones, because I mentioned they feed early in the morning and also late in the evening, these zones, they're not exactly interchangeable with the times, but let's say I'm talking about a afternoon zone here and you go there in the morning. If you look around a bit, they're probably somewhere in that general area feeding again. So not the same zone usually. Sometimes they do use the same zone, but it won't be too far away. They're probably there feeding. But another one is up here in Chila. And if you spawn at the Chila outpost, there's a lake to your west. And then there's a kind of mushroom shaped lake to the northwest. And almost directly in between those is usually where a feed zone is in the late afternoon for Whitetail. I've had pretty good luck here. I did have a level three that wasn't a diamond in the past and also... Uh, my original biggest, I think, 993, was in this area as well. So that tends to be a pretty good one. Um, I would definitely recommend checking that out if you get a later server. It is a good spot. And those are the only two that I have really consistent luck with. Sometimes Belmont Lake, sometimes High Lake, and sometimes like the really far north part of Belmont into the south part of High Lake. Those are a couple of honorable mentions, but... Um, pretty inconsistent for me across servers if you have time check them out uh, but i wouldn't spend a lot of time trying to get there if you maybe have options to go to other servers but that is where i would be hunting whitetail right now to try to get a diamond before true racks i've got two since the lodges came out and i really haven't hunted them that much um it's just been a lot of server hopping and hitting those areas and moving on to a new server um but you might have one on your own map check those spots if you haven't and let me know what you find. So that's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.